What's up you guys, Marcos here from Made by Krosky, and in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to create these bootleg rapper tees using Photoshop. Before we do get into this video, I would highly appreciate it if you guys could follow me on Instagram at Made by Krosky, because I post a lot more content on there if you're interested. And yeah, without much to say, let's get into this video. Alright you guys, we're in Photoshop right now, and the first thing we got to do is find pictures that we want to use for this design. In my opinion, you should use at least like 3-5 to five, uh, pictures in my opinion, in this case, we're going to be using 5 of Drake. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to choose the text style that we want for this design. Now I usually do get my fonts and like different character styles from this website called thefont.com. I'll put a link in the description of this video. But yeah, once I choose the font, I'm going to, you know, size up the text and see where I want it to be. Uh, usually I do recommend just putting like your text, you know, usually like above everything. And after that, I'm going to add a warp text effect on this and just see which style matches the best. Okay, so right here, I'm just seeing where each image is going to be placed. And then after that, I'm just going to be cutting out each image. And the easiest way, in my opinion, to cut out people from your uh, pictures or like remove the background is simply click on the quick selection tool. And then you're going to go up to the top toolbar and you're going to click this button that says select subject. What this button does is just going to make a really fast selection. You may have to make some adjustments, you know, to cut out a really clean cutout from the background. But overall, I like to use this button a lot. So usually when you're choosing the layout for how you want your photos, I recommend uh, looking up for some ideas like on Pinterest, Google Images, and etc. You know, there's just so many layouts that you can do. In this case, I'm doing like a star, like a star look, I guess you could say. But yeah, definitely look for some inspiration on how you want your layouts. Okay, so the next thing that I'm doing here is I'm going to be adding a bevel and emboss effect onto our text and then I'm also going to be adding a gradient color and for the gradient really um, I would just recommend just you know make sure that the pictures and the text color just overall match like the flow of the color scheme really and as you can see here like I'm going for like a dark blue and tan type of transition and then really yeah I'm just making sure that you know like the color schemes like in Drake's pictures is kind of like this yellow tint and blue tint kind of going on so yeah I'm just trying to make sure it all flows together okay so I'm gonna be adding some lighting effects with the curve tool and I do recommend adding three points throughout your lines the main focus here is to raise the midtones. that way just gives like this vintage type of look you know that you're going for and you know you could play with the other two points if you want but obviously my recommendation is to you know as long as you raise the midtones up more you're perfectly fine For the background, I felt like I needed to add more, so I'm going to be adding these lightning bolts that I got off Google Images. And really, it's best if you find like images that have like a black background. That way, you could just go to the blend mode of that layer and, you know, add like a light in blend mode or a screen blend mode. Those are like the best two to get rid of like a black background and it just matches.
so if you want to be more creative guys you could add even more stuff for example i'm just gonna be adding drake's signature just you know like some final touches really but if you want to be even more you know you could add like butterflies in the background uh sparks you know whatever effects you want to add guys go crazy with it as long as it matches the theme of your rapper that you're doing it for Okay, so lastly, I'm gonna be adding this texture layer that I got off Google Images. And in my opinion, you don't really have to add it. I mean, it's really up to you. Um, you know, some designs don't really need it. Others, you know, if you wanna give it even a more retro look, hey, be my guess. But yeah, I just got this one off Google Images. And yeah, I just thought it really needed this look. And yeah guys, this is how you design these vintage rapper tees. It's pretty easy in my opinion, and I hope you guys did learn something from this tutorial. Like I always say, make sure to follow me on Instagram, at MadeByKrowski, because I post way more art projects on there if you're interested. And you know, yeah, make sure to give me a subscribe and like this video. And yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we'll see y'all on the next one. Thank you.